Lithium is used as the first line mood stabilizing therapy in bipolar disorder and is also used in treatment resistant depression. Though it is effective at reducing manic episodes, lithium has a narrow therapeutic window and has relatively unpredictable pharmacokinetics, so close monitoring is required to minimize the risk of side effects. When initiating treatment, obtain a baseline weight, ECG, and bloods. Serum lithium levels should be monitored every five days, altering the dose until it remains stable. From then on, lithium levels should be monitored every three months, with mice recommending to aim for a range of 0.6 to 0.8 milli equivalents per litre. Thyroid function and kidney function should also be regularly checked. At therapeutic doses, side effects include dry mouth, fine tremor, weight gain, and a risk of renal impairment. Lithium toxicity occurs when lithium levels rise above 1.5 milli equivalents per litre. It's most commonly precipitated by an overdose or altered renal excretion, for example, by dehydration, reduced cardiac output, such as congestive heart failure, or drugs, notably thiazide diuretics, ACE inhibitors, and potentially SSRIs. Lithium toxicity presents with nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and dizziness, and in more severe or chronic cases, includes more neurological symptoms, such as coarse tremor, dysarthria, ataxia, and hyperreflexia. Management is largely supportive, including IV flu is aiming to restore and optimize renal excretion.